Hey guys, guess what? My stats look different. You may be wondering why, and I'll tell you why. I sorta kinda didn't make a good save file of my progress, and I had to go through the game again, but it's pretty close to the same. Anyway, this is the second quest, and I wouldn't say it's more difficult exactly, it's just that the crap is in different places, and you have to go explore a few areas you didn't have to go into before. Like this area, because you need a club ball. Or club crystal, if you prefer. I like calling them crystals, but I've heard them referred to as balls before. Possibly because this game is, in fact, balls. Ha! Ah, see, that's a joke about the game being bad. Because people make jokes about the game being bad, you see. That's the joke. And I made it. Wow, that, 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 that was incredible. Even for me, that was incredible. Oh, this is going to be tight. This is going to be really tight. How about we just do that? Sounds like a plan to me. Maybe wondering, how come it... Holy god, that frog got some air. Hey, frog. Whoa, hello. You're dead. Please stop attacking me. And we'll just go on by you and jump a spider. Spiders are the devil. Actually, they're not the devil. Imagine if they were, though. Anyway, you need that diamond crystal. That diamond crystal is important, because you need to get stuff for it. And now we're going to go all the way over here. And we're going to repeat a step we did in the uh, the first quest, or the original version of the game, if you will. We are going to go over to this pond right here. We're going to swim behind this eel and make our way oh so careful. Oh, come on. Come on. All right, fine. Let's just make this a little faster. And we'll speed this up because I don't want to, you don't have to watch him fall for nine million years again. Just fall. Fall already. There we go. And now we're at the bottom, where we want to be. And yes, we're going to be kind of tromping the same area again. It's crazy, I know. We're going to go over here. And we are, in fact, going to dodge that spider, because that is the smart thing to do. Petting spiders is only a good idea if they're actually your pet. Otherwise, I advise against petting spiders. Oh, you freaking vulture. Whoa, Pitfall almost got his leg bit off by a spider. Spider bites hurt, I tell ya. They hurt like the Dickens. I'm not exactly sure why the Dickens hurt, but... Unless you had to read Charles Dickens or something, and then it's a whole other story. Oh, yes, that's right. I'm gonna jump into that spider, because Charles Dickens jokes go over that well. Okay. Fan freaking fantastic But you'll notice that your lives and items and everything carry over, so that's nice. If you've had a good first quest. So especially... Holy jeez! That was way too close to death and destruction for me. Okay, now we got to deal with a bat. Bats suck. That's the, my favorite way to do it. Rather than charging and jumping them randomly, I like doing it that way. Speaking of doing it some way, come on, where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. There you are, Mr. Heart Crystal. We needed a heart crystal. And another bat, because they, you know, he was off screen for more than a second, so obviously he's got to respawn. And you're going to climb up this way... And let this spider do his thing. And there's the spade crystal you need. Hooray! And uh, now where are we going to go? We're going to go this way? I can... Oh, wait. I'm going to... Oh! Don't fall down, pitfall, you moron. So now we're going to have to go all the way back down there to go to the swinging vines. Remember the swinging vines? I do. I'm going to fall this way. I'm just going to risk it and see if I can fall the whole way rather than climbing down. I got lots of lives. And so far, so good. Yep, that's a fine place to land, because we just got to go up here. Hey, Mr. Froggy Dog. We're not dealing with you. And now we get to go back to an old standby favorite. Swinging on vines. Well, that was, that was an epic jump. Too bad I screwed up the second one, but the first one was amazing. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to fly across this gap as fast as I freaking can. Awesome. Mm. I see. Is that how we're going to play this? Very poorly. Alright, that's better. And that's, that is kind of cheeseballing across the vines, but hey. Considering how much this game... Wow. I was supposed to say, considering how much this game can cheeseball you, and then right on target there, it's like, you know what, I'm going to cheeseball him. Ah, uh, I didn't really need to take that risk, but whatever. That just kind of pisses me off that the game's like, no, you're toast. 
Don't catch me in the waterfall or I'm going to be aggravated. All right, perfect. That's just stupidity in a bowl. Hey. Oh, crud. Uh, well, speaking of stupidity in a bowl. <laughs> okay, seriously, let's not get killed by that guy again. It was bad enough the first time. And now we're going to go this way, because it's going to be exciting. And remember, anytime you're near a door, you should jump around, you never know what you'll find. Anything? Anything? There we go. I love how specific the hitbox is on those invisible items. It's kind of aggravating, truth be told. Oh, don't get back on the vine, Harry. That is not cool, man. Who gave you permission to do something so stupid? So stupidly stupid, you stupid head. Yeah, that's right. I called him a stupid head. What of it? But yes, in case you haven't figured, we're now doing the long climb to get all the way up to that bottom of that pool that we left behind earlier. And we are going to go across that nasty set of jumps to get over towards the first Easter Island head. And why am I waiting? All right, because the waterfall could just randomly appear at no any time it wants. Hooray, randomness. Like, there should be a waterfall there, but there's not. But there could be. You don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> See, that is what we call in the gaming industry. No, I'm not actually in the gaming industry. We call that le unfair. Le unfair. That's the French gaming industry, which gave birth to such great titles as... It has, uh, what's that game called? You know, with Superman in it. It's on the Nintendo 64. Uh, Blast Core. Yeah, Blast Core. That's the one. Uh, that, that was a little more uneven than I expected those two to line up. But, you know. Hey, how do you touch gold and not pick it up, Harry? What kind of freak of the week are you? Collect that gold. Be greedy. Hey, right, what horrible, nasty thing are they going to do to me here? I don't know. I know the roof's going to fall on me, but I can deal with that, I think. I've actually got 100 bullets. I can pretty much shoot whatever I want from now on. Starting with, like, I don't know, 50 or 60 bullets like I had. You just have such a leeway compared to the first time through. And of course, if you play this game, you know really the best way to deal with enemies is to just avoid them. Hey, here's the bonus room again. I'm not going to collect all the gold this time, but uh, you can definitely come in here and collect gold and get yourself, you know, an extra life, basically. There's a lot of big stacks of gold to be had. And we're going to shoot as many scorpions with bullets, because hey, we take our lessons in dealing with scorpions from uh, Solid Snake in the original Metal Gear for the NES. Of course, I know the originals for the MSX, but whatever. We've already seen this this ability to shoot stuff. Anyway, that's all she wrote for that, because it's the same same setup, same warp, same everything. So, you know, collect as needed. Almost at 1.5 million points. Pretty solid. I'm not going to lie to you, that is, that is pretty solid. Oh, yes. Okay, so, are we up to the bottom yet? Yes, we're up to the bottom. It's about freaking time, you might be saying. Well, I agree. Oh, that spider was getting closer than I intended him to. I was just kind of like, you know what? I'm just going to kind of boof the zoop here and not actually do something properly. Oh, well. It's not like it's the first time I've made, you know, uh, what's the word? Lapse in concentration. Wow, that, that is such hectic jumping. Plus, they kind of look like... Never mind what they look like. Anyway, this is very important. Once you bust this door, jump around in here... And you will find a diamond crystal. That is new on this quest, and you need that diamond crystal. I assure you of that. All right, and now we get up to the first Easter Island head, and we go, holy crap, save me from the wee turtles. Except that he's not a wee turtle. He's a massive freaking head made of stone. And we grab ourselves a Raj diamond. So I think that'll be a good spot to stop for this one. Join us tomorrow when we'll continue on and try to find the medicine and Quick Claw and all that fun stuff and the key for Quick Claw. And, oh yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be something. I w I'd say a lot of fun, but you know, it is super pit 